This video is going to go through how you can use Hapara and create assignments in Canvas so that you can see the revision history. And like I said before, this is one of my biggest, biggest, amazing things that I would do together in Canvas to make sure that you can grade and see the revision history so you don't go crazy with revising and regrading, especially written work. So this is how it works. So first of all, here is my assignment in Canvas. You will notice that in here, I have a few things that I tell them to do. One, it's just the assignment, but then I say, I want you to find this document and I give the name of the assignment um, in your AP World Google Drive folder. So if you're not very familiar with Hapara, what happens is when things are rostered through Infinite Campus, there creates a folder in a student's Google Drive that basically says each of their courses they have for the semester. And so, Basically, what we're doing is we're going to send a document, a Google Drive document to there. Now, what's really cool about these folders that are in Hapara, which are then in their Google Drive, is that we have edit access on those documents, meaning they don't need to share them with us. Anything that's in that folder, we can see. So if I go over to Hapara, um, while I'm in here, here are just different documents that are in those Google Drive folders. For me to share something with them, let's say I have created a template for this essay, which is what I typically do. I would then go in here and I can send files to that folder in their Google Drive that I have edit access, which means I will have their revision history. So I can select my template that I've created in my own Google Drive. Or if you wanted to not search for that, you didn't create a template, I can just say, hey, I want you to send a blank Google Doc. Let's say for this one, I wanted it to be called Scramble for Africa essay. I can, if I click this, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of give their name at the doc. This would be Scramble for Africa, like a asterisk and their last name, if I want that, or their whole name um, based on that. So if you want, you can click that or not. And then it creates right away a copy of whatever this is. So a blank document is going to then be sent, if you look down here, um, into both of these classes I want. Both of them selected. So I'm going to hit the little arrow down here, maybe. maybe. And in there, um, I am going to be able to Put up, there you go, uh, into their documents for this. I would hit Smart Share, and it's sending that there, which I have edit access to. That's just half the battle. That just creates this, basically, this document that I said, hey, you should find it. I named it something else here. But I sent it on over. I give directions here. Behind the scenes, the only other thing you need to do is in this assignment, you need to change just one simple setting and you will have revision history when it's handed in. Um, what you're gonna do is you'll set this up like a normal assignment. Um, and instead of saying file upload, you're gonna say website URL. Now that seems funny because students will still have the box to search for it in their Google Drive and hand it up. They're not actually selecting the URL, but the magic behind the scenes by you saying website URL, um, it is going to send you that different way of looking at it. So you click website URL, you do not click upload. Um, and you say still I would have unlimited um, attempts so that when they revise it and resubmit, it'll be in the same assignment, I'll revise their score. Um, and then I'll be good to go and I hit save. And doing that, I promise you, when you go into the speed grader, if you did not click file upload, when you see their work here, you will see it like this and it'll put their Google Doc right here. I will be able to go in and I can then click up here in just a second once it all loads and see their revision history last edit. And I can go in there and you can see what I wrote and if they wrote anything after me and then I just have them resubmit. This person only did it once, but it's amazing to kind of see their thought process, their revision history, what they changed along the way as they are writing this essay. So amazing tip. Hopefully it's helpful for you. And then you can easily, when they do have multiple submissions, um, when you're looking at that, you can easily see the differences um, in what they submitted by looking there. This is how you can see the different types of revision history and what was changed between them. Um, again, amazing. So hopefully that helps you and saves you a whole bunch of time.